more than normal. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in again. We made it to the cabin and that was a nerve wracking trip. It's 11 o'clock. <sighs> yep. We were halfway to the cabin and our dog decided different. The dog turned around, went back to Talkeetna. We don't know what was happening. Either she got spooked by the train because the train was parked in Talkeetna and just sitting there, or maybe by the snow machine halfway on the trail. Anyway, the dog decided to turn around and run back to Talkeetna, so obviously we had to turn around as well. Then we got to Takeda, loaded everything back up into the pickup truck and started driving to Willow and we called one of our daughters, our youngest one, she was, she happened to be in Willow and she was taking the dog, took the dog to Wasilla, we turned around, went back to Talkeetna and unloaded again and snow machine into the cabin and then about halfway in between, we call it the gravel pit and where the cabin is, so about a mile or for five, we ran into a moose and the moose did not want to move off the trail, so we had to wait there for a while. And we finally made it to the cabin, so now we're gonna get some fire going and warm up. We made it. It is freezing. It's colder in the bed than it is outside. Oh. Uh, fire's going though, and we are in bed. Oh, that felt so good. After a trip like this, and now it's midnight. Alrighty, everyone. Thank goodness we're here. Thank goodness we're here. And we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. We slept in a little bit this morning since we didn't get to bed actually until midnight. Cabin was below freezing and now we have a comfortable 60 degrees in here. So it feels really nice. We're gonna make some breakfast, wait for daylight to arrive, and then we're gonna start with our projects around the cabin. So we're having two egg and cheese waffles, a little bit of onion and mushrooms. I'm gonna put it on the fireplace, let it warm up. Okay, it's your turn, right? Yeah. I dropped that one, I discarded. I did not discard, hang on. I just forgot to discard, but I had a... It's your turn, I'm gonna yeah. get coffee. Okay. No cheating, Ollie. I'm not. Oh, I'm watching you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, no, you, no, 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 10, that's what I was looking for, 10. <clears throat> so what I think we should try doing, we should maybe do a little bit of fishing with daylight and see how good they're biting or not, you know. I think they'll bite better during the day. 
I think so too, especially the trout. Mm -hmm. And we know there is at least one more in there because the one <laughs> I, I can't get away. So. All so. fish, you work. Sounds good to me. I'll I'll work for dinner and you work on the cabin. Sounds good. No! <laughs> Did you? Ollie! Woohoo! Anyway, well, we played a card game and now it's time to go to work. I'm going to get the generator outside. You cheated. <laughs> I did not. And then, uh, yeah, start working on the handrail upstairs while we have daylight. So we will get to it now, huh? And I'm either going to crochet or go fish. Okay. Probably go fish. Good point. But will you help me? With? Just shoveling the snow. Ah, <laughs> no, 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 no. You won the game. <laughs> Are you going to help? Okay, we are installing a door handle now, which we prepped at the shop this week. proper handle on it. Perfect. And then we'll do the same on the outside. And you know so it's it's actually a nice handle now. And it was really literally a, a small piece of two by six. Didn't cost us a penny. A little bit of time, and that's it. So the generator is all set up right now. We got the cords plugged in. It goes up to the balcony, and I got the drill ready upstairs and all the tools I needed. But before I'm going to start the generator, we're going to walk down to the lake, uh, create a nice spot for Tasha to do some fishing while I'm going to be... Uh, working up here on the balcony. So let's go head down to the lake with all the gear and get her set up. Was walking here. What's that? There's a, a game trail. Well, with some snowshoes on, probably should have wore snow pants. <laughs> How did it get so deep? When did they get so much snow? because it's been a little warmer and we have more snow in tubs so the snow is insulating. So I think all the calories I just put in my belly this morning, they're burned. You need snacks. I need some additional snacks. <clears throat> Second breakfast. <laughs> yep. 
Okay, we got a new toy called an auger, hand auger. So we have to do by hand, obviously. Well, let's see how it works. Okay, we'll do one here. Water, but I'm not through yet. Oh, really? No, but I'm, there you go. Woo. Okay, so we are guesstimating 18 inches. Yeah. Okay, there's hole number one, and it's actually flooding our area right here. But we got a nice wide hole this time, so. Biggest fish should fit through it. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the cabin, start working on the handrail, and I kind of have this feeling by the time I get to the cabin, <laughs> we have a fish on, and I gotta turn around and come back. Uh, that would be nice too. And I'm gonna step onto the dock and turn around so you have an idea how far out we are. Okay, so that's where the dock is right here. And here's Tasha fishing. for some spindles now for the handrail and the best way of doing it is just finding beetle kill trees skinny ones there's two two trees right behind me i'm going to cut down number one i can use them for the spindles number two they're down there's no more fire hazard so feeds two purposes <laughs> Down to the lake one more time, check on our fishing poles. 
Give it one more try today. And if nothing's happening, we'll come back to the cabin and just relax and take it easy. And we'll try it again in the morning. Yeah. Is it snowing a little bit or? It is. There's open water. And there has been a lot of moose activity. Yeah, it is snowing a little bit now. And nothing, nothing, huh? We did not have too much luck today with ice fishing. It was fun though. We saw lots of little fish on the, kind of more on the surface, but we couldn't catch any of the big ones. So we just came back up here again, get warmed up, and then we're gonna go to sleep. We'll see you guys in the morning. Convenient way of shocking the eggs when you have a lot of snow in front of the cabin. So that makes it really nice. Perfect. It's 8.30, it's getting lighter a little bit, and it's about 30 degrees. And we got everything ready. We got some more herring. The poles are ready. All right, let's go. And I've got my lucky pants on. <laughs> Sweet, I think we're ready. I don't know what it is at the cabin. I always feel like so relaxed. I know we're doing a ton of stuff, but it just makes me feel alive. Okay, so we did get a lot of these spindles yesterday and uh, got to start peeling the bottom at least, get the uh, diameter off the hole we need for upstairs on the, for the beam and we can start installing them. 
I brought the drill down, so we need to get it somewhat close to the drill's diameter. And I kind of put this thing together here now. It's going to hold that that log here or that stick better in place so it doesn't fall off. I used a joist hanger, kind of bend it a little bit, screwed it into the side so it holds. And I put the two by six onto the deck right here. So the whole thing is actually staying there. So let's see how that works. So by doing it with this, uh, this way, you can actually kind of go angle the blade a little bit and you're not hitting your uh, knuckles right here on the snow and ice or on the deck you know so it reaches out a little bit so i have a little bit more room to peel and it seems to work pretty good the only thing i wish i would have or could have done different is so i can peel the entire stick right here so obviously if i can do the top because it's a little this is a little thicker than the height of these two boards but I have to turn it constantly to get it clean but it works and I'm not bending down a lot I'm actually standing up pretty straight and it looks like Tasha's wrapping up too yeah we we drilled another hole so we had three holes down there and uh, we did not have any luck. Okay, that's our upstairs balcony door and we're gonna put some trim around the window opening. So right here, I'm gonna do one upright and then one on the bottom right here and one up. Maybe a little bit of finish sanding and then Tasha's gonna go ahead and stain it. Okay, this one we have to now try a little bit right at the hinge. This is really not a hammer, but <laughs> I don't have a hammer up here, so I'm gonna just use that planer. It's just that little notch right here I have to get out. Okay, little notch. It's snowing. It started to snow. Let's go outside and check it out. Uh oh. I'm in trouble. What? Yep, I was about to go outside and what's the matter? Oh, because I put the chainsaw here. Well, you know, this thing's been bugging me anyway for a long time. That's, we need a shed. <laughs> we need a shed and we need actual shelves in here. Mm -hmm. It's a disaster. Well, let me, let me, let me scooch in there real quick. I know, it's a, it's a disaster. It is a disaster, I agree. Well, what we could do is, well, first of all, we have flooring still, right? The flooring here? Yeah. So we could actually continue start off with that you know put the flooring in here get everything out get the whole pantry cleaned out mm -hmm. start fresh and then start fresh and we put the flooring in put some finished trim on the bottom what about some shelves on the stairs yep are you talking about in between here yeah like coming out we can definitely do that yeah that would give us maybe a little bit more room you know and then maybe some little like screwdrivers and find tools like to a tiny tools we can keep in here until we have a shed but get the big bulky stuff out and what about if we because that 
that was always plain. I just never got around to do it. We can run plywood all the way up here so we cover up all the wiring, right? Mm -hmm. And then we can definitely get more shelving in here. What about a door, an actual door? I mean, that would be nice too because the curtain is kind of a, I don't know, I'm not a big curtain fan when it comes to doors, especially in this room. But we kind of covered it up because it's just a... Well, what about a barn door, like the sliding doors? Hmm. That would actually, and let's see if it would work. Yeah. How about if we move these pans somewhere else? Yeah, we could do that easy. Let's hang on a second. Huh? Yeah, we would have enough room even up here for a... For a rail, kind of, because we have to have a rail to hang the door. I think that would work because the door opening here is not as it's wide not too big. as the space is here. So we probably end up right here and we can roll it back and forth. I would love that. I think me too, actually. I don't like the curtain. I'm always walking into it. So when you open it and up. And you can always see in there unless you shut it. Yep. All right, back to the snow. We talked about the pantry. I know it's a disaster. And I think we have to do this sooner or later to get this organized. So let's take a look at the snow. Yep. It is snowing. And I think Tasha did a great job on staining the door. It looks a little darker than it's going to be at the end. She's just looking out the window. <laughs> It'll uh, fade a little bit so it doesn't look quite as uh, shiny. And uh, yeah, as far as the handrail goes, I was actually thinking or hoping I'm gonna get more done this weekend, but it just, it was very time consuming. We have the spindles we need ready right here. So all we need to do is now peel them on the next trip out here. And I think I'm gonna come up with a better plan here as far as um, holding the little spindles in place where I can peel it. This was just like a temporary quick deal just to see if it actually works at all. But I'm gonna make something else at the shop in Wasilla and then bring it out so we can peel the spindles. Well, we were hoping we'd get snowed in. Ha, that would have been amazing. So we don't have to leave the cabin. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, please like and subscribe our videos. We just now, this weekend, made it to 2,000 subscribers. So please Thank keep it up. Thank you so much, yeah. All right, yeah. We're going to set up the trail cam real quick again. We headed down over the beginning phase of the winter, but we had so many moose coming through here so many uh, so much activity and we thought we're gonna put it back up right yeah for and sure. see what happens by the time we come back next time thanks guys see you on the next one Bye.